Several fires were raging in the southern suburbs of Beirut early on Saturday after Israel's air forces launched a series of strikes on the Lebanese capital, shortly after warning residents of three buildings to evacuate. It said they were being used by Hezbollah to hide weapons, including anti-ship missiles. The Israeli military said it struck the central headquarters of Hezbollah in Beirut on Friday. The series of explosions Friday evening is the most powerful yet seen in the Lebanese capital the past year. Israeli Army spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said it targeted the main Hezbollah headquarters, located beneath residential buildings. Attacks by fighter jets continued into the early hours Saturday after the army said it told residents to evacuate three buildings it was targeting. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu abruptly cut short a visit to the United States and was returning home instead of waiting until the end of Sabbath on Saturday evening, his office said. Hours earlier, Netanyahu addressed the United Nations, vowing that Israel's campaign against Hezbollah would continue further dimming hopes for an internationally backed ceasefire. More than 720 people have been killed in Lebanon this week, according to Lebanon's health ministry. Israel has dramatically escalated strikes, saying it is targeting Hezbollah's military capacities and senior Hezbollah commanders. Top Israeli officials have threatened to repeat the destruction of Gaza in Lebanon if the Hezbollah fire continues raising fears that Israel's actions in Gaza since October 7 would be repeated in Lebanon. The International Organization for Migration estimated Thursday that more than 200,000 people have been displaced in Lebanon since Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel in support of Hamas after it stormed into Israel, sparking the Israel-Hamas war.